Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Fabio and today I have a practice for you dedicated to the psoas. This muscle is very important for our posture and today we're gonna lengthen it. It's also very important to release eventual emotional blockages you may be holding on to. So if you're ready, let's begin together. You can start today's practice by laying down on the floor. If you have a block available, then you can place it on your side. If not, you can always use a book or practice without any props. Now feel the connection to the ground. Try to let go of any tension from your muscles, starting from your feet and working your way up all the way to your head. Once you feel relaxed, you can start making small circles with your ankles, wiggling your toes, your fingers, maybe rocking your head side to side, just to awaken the body slowly. Bring your right knee into your chest, helping yourself with your arms, and pull the knee closer to you. The left leg is still extended and heavy on the ground. Take a few deep breaths here, trying to pull the knee a little closer to you. Feeling the spine fully connected to the floor. And now slowly open the knee out to the side, trying to maintain the hips still. So it's easy here to roll over to the right side, but instead you want to have the hips facing up towards the ceiling. Again, take a few deep breaths, slowly come back to center and release the knee. Use the breath to connect to your movements, bringing the left knee up into the chest, holding it with your hands and feeling the length in your right side. The neck is long, shoulders are relaxed. Slowly open the knee out to the side and feel the right side of your body heavy. So try to keep the hips square towards the ceiling. Remember to breathe and release your muscles. Slowly come back to center and let go of the pose. You can quickly shake your legs just to release even further. Then plant your feet on the ground a few inches from your seat bones and roll over to one side. Press yourself up into a seated position. We'll be coming right away into a tabletop pose. So bring the knees right underneath your hips hands underneath your shoulders, find the length in your spine, activate the shoulders and now on your next inhalation arch the back, look up and exhale look towards your belly, warming up the spine, inhale arch the back into cow pose and exhale cat pose rounding the spine. Let's repeat this again Inhale, arch in the back, exhale, round in the spine. Feel free to go at your own pace for this one. Again, trying to make the movement a little bigger, arching and rounding at your own pace. One last time. And now let's come back to a neutral spine. Slowly sit back towards your heels, extend your arms forward and lower the forehead to the ground. Spread your fingers wide and release everything into your child's pose. This is a great pose to reconnect to the breath, reconnect to your intention. Bring the hands close to your face and slowly roll the spine up to a seated position. And now we'll be moving a little deeper in a few poses. So sit there on your heels with your spine long. 
Make yourself comfortable. Remember, you can adjust at any time. And bring the hands behind you, fingertips towards your feet. Now you can stay here if you already feel quite a deep stretch. Otherwise, press your hips up and look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower down. We're going to be repeating it again. Inhaling, lifting the hips up, looking up towards the ceiling. And exhale, sitting back on the heels. Turn your fingertips towards the back of the room and repeat the same thing. Inhale, lift the hips up, maybe a little higher. Exhale down towards your heels. And again, inhaling, lifting up. Always connecting to the breath. Exhale, lower down with control. One last time. Inhale, take your time, lift up, look up. And exhale, release. Reach forward with your hands. Coming back to a tabletop position. And once you set your foundation, you can take a big step forward with your right leg in between your hands. Adjust the back leg if needed and plant your hands on the floor. Now feel the hips lowering towards the ground, keeping the hip crease square. And here you want to have quite an active stretch so you can really engage the legs to help that movement of the hips towards the floor. The spine is long. The hands are helping to support the pose and the breath helps you getting a little deeper into this one. Now come up on your fingertips and lift the heart a little more from your thigh. Bend the back leg and release it down. So you almost want to kick towards your left glute with your left leg. Inhale to lift, exhale to release. Two more times. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, release. So this is quite deep, quite intense. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, release. And for the last one, we're going to lift one more time. This time we'll be reaching back. See if you can hold on to your ankle or your toes and pull the heel a little closer to your glutes. Remember to breathe. If this is too intense for you, you can always release at any time. Look forward and lengthen the spine even more. Take one last breath. Exhale deeply and release the pose. Now we'll be staying in this low lounge position, but we'll be lifting a little higher this time. So you can lift the upper body, raise your arms up towards the sky, and hold on to the left wrist with your right hand. Look up towards your hands, and slowly, with control, you can side bend towards your right side. Now this can get a little challenging for balance, so be very careful. Once you reach your limit, bring the right hand on the ground and side bend even more using the support of your hand. Look down as you keep reaching with your left hand and then on your next exhalation you can slowly release coming back to center and then stepping back into your child's pose to take a quick break. So relax here, reconnect to the breath or to your intention. Now we'll be taking the whole sequence to the other side. So come back to all fours and step forward with your left leg. Now stay here, allow the hips to come a little closer to the ground, find space in your body. Remember to be active in this one. So activate your muscles in your legs. Find a little bit more length in the spine. Allow the body to get used to this pose. So there is no rush. When you're ready, you can come up on your fingertips. 
and let's go for our dynamic movement bringing the right heel a little closer to the glute and then releasing inhale to lift the back foot off the floor heel towards the glute exhale release two more times inhale to lift up and release every time trying to go a little deeper one last time inhale to lift and exhale to release for this very last one we'll be lifting the foot off the floor and then reaching back for the ankle or toes square your shoulders square your hips and feel that good stretch in the front of the right leg this can be quite intense so remember to be careful and be gentle with your body always listening find a little more length in the spine relax the shoulders take one last deep breath and slowly let go move with awareness inhale lift the torso up reach the arms towards the sky hold on to your right wrist with your left hand and look towards your hands let the hips slowly sink down and then start taking your side bend to the left side remember to be careful with your balance when you reach your limit you can let go bring the left hand on the floor and move a little deeper into your side bend look down or up towards your right hand feel that good stretch in the right side and slowly come back to center we'll be stepping back into our child's pose one more time use this time wisely to reconnect to your intention and to allow your muscles to take a little break feel the hips heavy on your heels take a couple more breaths and when you're ready you can release now we'll be going into a deeper pose our camel pose or ustrasana so come off your heels tuck the toes under and bring your hands on the hips Take a couple of deep breaths to find length in your spine and connect to the core. Lift the heart towards the ceiling and slowly tilt back, arching the back. So keep the hips going forward. Look up. And stay for a few deep breaths. Now here I'll be giving you a different option. You can bring the hands on your heels. And hold it here make sure to push the hips forward feel that good arch in your back don't drop your head keep it lifted neck is long slowly release the pose and sit back into your child's pose this is a great counter pose for Ustrasana You can take a couple of breaths, stay as long as you'd like. Whenever you're ready, you can extend your legs forward. Remember to move with awareness. Now you can bring the block or your book close to you as you make your way down to the floor. Plant your feet and bring the block underneath your sacrum you can pick the height that suits you the most for today once you're there extend one leg at a time and breathe deeply you want to make sure that you feel that good stretch in the front of your body release the hands on the ground and take a couple of extra breaths there You want to try to release all your muscles in this one. 
Now with control, bring the right knee up towards the chest, hold it with your hands and pull the knee towards you, just like we did at the beginning of class. The left heel is still on the ground and the leg is extended. Listen to your body as you move deeper into this pose. It's a great pose to open the psoas. Exhale, releasing down. And now move to the other side, bringing the left knee up towards the chest. Pull the knee towards you and keep the right leg extended with the heel on the floor. Keep breathing deeply, letting go of the tension that doesn't serve you right now. You can now release the pose. Bend both knees, bringing the feet pretty close to your seat bones. You can bring the block on a higher setting if it works for you, lifting the hips a little higher. And once you're there and you feel stable and balanced, then extend the arms overhead. This again is going to work towards creating more space in your body and lengthening the psoas. Keep the knees tracking parallel to each other. Feel the connection to the ground and to your block for the next couple of breaths. When you're ready, you can remove your prop from underneath your sacrum and release slowly the hips down to the ground. Bring the knees into your chest and take a couple of nice rocks side to side to reset the spine. Bring the head towards your knees. Exhale deeply and let go, extending both legs and both arms on the floor. This is your special time to release completely from any tension or negative thoughts that you may be holding on to. So let go. Simply focus on your breath and the connection to the ground. Here you're fully supported. You're fully grounded. Feel free to stay here as long as you'd like. As always, I want to thank you for practicing with me today and I really hope you enjoyed this sequence. If you did, you can leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Namaste.